The law of the Lord is perfect, condemning the soul. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from God came upon Saul. And he prophesied in the midst of the house. Now, I want to stop here for one second. I've never heard this preached about, but this is what the Bible says. Saul, who was saved, is being troubled by an evil spirit, and he's prophesying, he's preaching by this evil spirit. He's in his house preaching, what, evil, hate, death? He's saying things that are hurtful. He's prophesying in his house of an evil spirit. That's what the Bible says. Look at it. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from God came upon Saul, and he prophesied in the midst of the house, and David played with his hand, as at other times, and there was a javelin in Saul's hand. So Saul's walking around the house, probably popping off at his, oh, I'm going to kill the, boy, them Philistines, I don't like this other guy over here, ooh, this guy, that guy, somebody, right? I mean, it's like, he's probably like a conspiracy freak, gone nutso. <laughs> They're all after me, I don't know what I'm, you know, he's troubled by this evil spirit, and he's preaching hate and harm to everyone around him. David comes in to try to help him out, and this guy's got a weapon in his hand. Look at verse 11. And Saul cast the javelin, for he said, I will smite David even into the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. He's saying, I'm going to pin him to the wall. But God protected David. He got him out of there. Look at verse 12. And Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him and departed from Saul. So now, not only is he preaching evil and hate, now he's afraid of David, the only one that's been able to help calm his spirit. Verse 13, Therefore Saul removed him from him and made him his captain over thousands. And he went out and came in before the people. And David, look at this, this is key, verse 14, And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. Do you understand at any point, David could have grabbed that javelin out of the wall and throw it back at him? You understand at any point, David could have started prophesying right back at him. Oh yeah, you say, well I could do it, right? David was behaving himself wisely. He was full of the Lord's Spirit, and God eventually elevated him for it. God protected him because of it. 